Don Lopez Alegria opening the Mexican National DX meeting. Dozens of people attended the meeting, which featured talks about various aspects of DX and a short way of listening, such as antennas for better reception, as well as speakers from Radio Educación. Luis Alejandro Vallebuelo gave a talk entitled Historical Panorama of 100 Years of Shortwave in Mexico. There was the traditional Noche de Exista, or DX night, where radios and antennas were set up to do some serious listening to see what they could hear on the bands. During the meeting, much all of the excitement, a miracle alert sounded. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a false alarm. There was no earthquake. At Radio de there was an exposition of photos of all 30 Mexican National Day Ops meetings. Shortwave station representatives from around the world have attended these meetings over the years. Cesar Fernandez from the Veracruz DX group mentioned some of the stations that were at one meeting which we attended, along with our wave stand editor, Adrian Peterson. There were also two live programs about the events broadcast on Radio Educación. This brief excerpt from one of those shows y sobre todo dándole la bienvenida a nuestros invitados especiales y al público que nos acompaña en este seguimiento de las trampas de la de Turismo en México, que se presenta en el marco del último encuentro de Chista y Mexicano, y también en el marco de lo que venimos explicando a todo lo largo del año aquí en la educación, que son 100 años al inicio de sus transmisiones. Así que muchas, muchas gracias a ustedes que nos están escuchando en casita o allá en su automóvil, que ustedes nos acompañen aquí en el estudio A de Radio Educación, en sus instalaciones en Ángel de Barca, que se encuentra en la Colonia del Valle, en la Ciudad de México. Muchas, pero muchas, muchas, muchas gracias. That was a program on Radio Educación, 6185 kHz, during the 2024 Mexican National DX meeting in Mexico City. By the way, those who attended the meeting also had the opportunity to take a tour of the station's transmitter site. Well, a few minutes ago, we were talking about station 4VEH in Haiti. Incidentally, a company called Galcon International has made a lot of fixed-tuned solar-powered radio receivers, which 4VEH has distributed to listeners in Haiti over the years. And Galcon, headquartered in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, was the site of this year's annual meeting of the National Association of Shortwave Broadcasters, or NASB, which took place on July 22nd and 23rd. Both Ray and I were there, along with representatives of other U.S. shortwave stations and shortwave listeners from Canada. Today, we have the first part of a conversation that Ray and I recorded during the meeting at Galcom. Okay, Ray, we are here in a, a, a really unique studio, aren't we? Certainly in Galcom in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Um, it's a very busy facility because they construct fixed-tuned radios here that get distributed to Christian broadcasters all over the world. But as part of their facility, they built a, a state-of-the-art, really top-depth uh, studio facility not so much to use for themselves, but to be able to demonstrate to broadcasters what the principles of good studio design are. And in the room, there's a busy road outside, but the windows are quadruple glazed, and um, it's absolutely silent in here. It's a wonderful show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they record a program here, I think it's from National Temple, if I remember correctly which uh, we broadcast on WRMR, broadcast by a number of uh, stations, local stations around the world, uh, uh, which is recorded right here in this, in this studio also. Mm. Um, but we are here, and, and by the way, you mentioned 16 radio, so we should tell us what a 16 radio is. 
with their little devices, probably not much bigger than the size of a pack of cards, maybe uh, slightly larger, but uh, approximately that. They are um, obviously battery devices, but they have solar panels on the back, so that they can charge them. These are devices that are um, hardened and um, very reliable, so that they can be distributed in remote world world locations, jungles, deserts, whatever. Some are going, I saw, to South Sudan and Somalia and places like that. Um, they have spoken uh, recordings included, typically the Bible in various languages, uh, which can be played, and then they're also fixed tuned to whatever radio frequencies the station that uh, wants them defines. Uh, they can be FM, AM, or shortwave, and they can each device can have up to 12 frequencies programmed into it. Um, so, for instance, uh, I am involved with Voice of Hope, and in Zambia we have Voice of Hope Africa, which uses four different frequencies, and so I have a device which now has those four frequencies programmed into it. It's a really useful device for helping listeners to quickly find the stations, uh, the, the station frequencies that we want, and of course not to get distracted by other stations that might be on the air. The audio quality from the devices is phenomenal considering their size, and uh, they're just a, a really the economic way for stations to be able to distribute receivers to the listening audience for so, um, people who might otherwise not be going out there and buying radios. They take these into villages and distribute them to people uh, who basically have nothing. So they can get the gospel, they can hear the word of God. Uh, uh, yeah, I remember several years ago we had some of these uh, radios made for, for WRMI and uh, we, they were Back in that, at that time, they could only have one frequency on, on the radio, uh, so we put down those five five kilohertz. Uh, but now, uh, recently, they've got these uh, these more more of the receivers. They're actually smaller and thinner, and, and they're up to uh, twelve frequencies. So right now, uh, uh, we just we we got uh, some of these radios here at uh, Galpan during the visit. And uh, we, we've got some of the 12 of the 13 frequencies in it, so that's uh, uh, pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, they're continuing to work on the technology here, and these devices are getting better and better, as you say. And one of the innovations they've introduced recently is what the spiders are now field upgradable, so that if a station uses different frequencies uh, for the different broadcast seasons, different times of the year, they don't have to be sent back into Galcom to be reprogrammed. The station can have a master unit which can update the radios for their particular station. If the frequencies change, maybe they're using tropical band frequencies or uh, you know, frequencies that are not The stations can now do that for themselves, which is very flexible, very useful. Okay, Ray, we'll continue telling everyone about the 2024 NESB annual meeting next week on Wavescan. Henry Omenhai in the Philippines says rainy days are here. Great devastation due to recent flooding in the greater Manila area, but not so much in our area of the province of Negros Oriental. Now, here's Henry with the DX News. Hello, everyone. The dear shortwave listeners, wherever you're welcome to the August 11th edition of the Philippine DX. This report number 209. I'm Henry Omenhai in the whole of the city. Negros of the Central Sanctuary of Philippines. Glad to be back and thank you for your listening. I would like to thank you for your listening. Mr. Richard Williams in Yamanaka in Shibakin, Japan, and Mr. Chan Sakari Alvarez in Cavite here in the Philippines. For all of you, thank you very much. Reception lunch for July 2024. July 7th, also for the first first hour of the news from Kuchan at 0413 and SAO 3833. July 7th, BBC World Service on 9414 at 07, SAO 555. July 14th, KBS World Radio on 9570 in English 
ความเข้มข้นกับความเที่ยวเอสเอาไปอยู่ตัวไทยตัว July 14 Radio New Zealand International on 9700 English from r a n j i t a t i and 0850 SAO 44 July 14 Hope Radio on 9965 in English from k a l a m i d o r n at 1010 SAO 44 July 21 Kenala Alaska on 9580 in English from Angkor Point at uh, 1038 SIO 333 July 21 Transport Radio KTWR on 11965 in English from Mariso Guam at 1105 SIO 333 July 21 Boy Subject Nam on 12020 in English from Hanoi Sentai at 1125 SIO 343 July 21 FABC Ratio on 9400 in Chinese from EBA at 1145 SAO 555 and China Ratio International Filipino Service can be heard from 1130 to 12 UTC in four frequencies 5985 from Beijing 7410 from Nanning 11955 from Kunming Nanning and 12070 from Nanning. Send us your comments, such as for social lines and information to filipinasdx at gmail.com. That's t i l i k i n a s t x for filipinasdx at gmail.com. This has been Henry Umaday for Wavescan in Bacolod City, Nagros Occidental Central, for the same mabuhay at maraming salamat po. Thank you, Henry. Thanks for listening to WaveScan, the international DX program from Adventist World Radio. Researched and written in Indianapolis by Adrian Peterson and in Los Angeles by Ray Robinson. Next week on WaveScan, the Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia. More from NASB 2024 in Canada and our Bangladesh DX report. WaveScan is heard weekly on KSDA in Guam. AWR relays in various locations, WRMI in Florida, WWCR in Tennessee, Voice of Hope Africa in Zambia, and IRRS Italy. Send reception reports directly to the station you're listening to. Reports for KSDA and other AWR sites should go to qsl at awr.org. Other correspondence, not reception reports, can be sent to WaveScan. At yahoo.com. I'm Jeff White at WRMI Shortwave in Okeechobee, Florida. Till next week. Good listening, everyone.